curious to know how the real estate market fared for December 2019 and end of year numbers? Well, that's what I'm talking about today and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, a realtor here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to my monthly market update for Southern Nevada. And in this issue, I'm gonna be going over December 2019 numbers. The Las Vegas housing market ended 2019 with a burst in sales. But overall, fewer homes sold in 2019 than from the previous year. According to the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, there were 2,609 single-family homes that sold in the month of December, up 8.4% from November and up 21.8% from December 2018. Also, the medium sales price of previously owned single-family homes increased to $312,000 from $307,000 up 2% from November and up 6% from the prior year. So as you can see, last month in December, we over exceeded our sales. Um, having an increase compared to December 2018 is actually huge. Southern Nevada also had a total number of 2001 new listings for the month of December, which is down 24.5% from November and down 14.3% from the prior year. There were also a total number of 5,538 single family houses listed without offers at the end of December, down 15.2% from November and down 16.3% from the prior year. These numbers are actually quite interesting. Um, for 2019 and throughout most of the year, we had a sharp rise in available listings. Uh, but as we approached the end of the year, we took a sharp decrease in listings, which is kind of scary if you think about it. We had less listings for December 2019 than we did for December 2018. So um, that's kind of scary because that means that we could be in a situation as we were for 2018 this can only mean one thing in my opinion. Um, I have a feeling that 2020 is going to be like 2018, especially when you see that sharp uh, decrease in inventory. We are gonna have the same issues as we did for 2018 with the typical supply and demand. We have the demand, however, we don't have the supply. Hopefully that's not the case. I hope that come springtime, a lot of you sellers are gonna list your house. We need houses. 5,500 houses without offers is not a lot because I remember all last year it hovered around the seven to 8,000 uh, range. So 5,500 is very light. <laughs> Again, I hope that changes. It's good for sellers. It could be bad for buyers because we may get into a situation where we are doing this whole bidding war thing again. But basically in November and December, I had been helping clients and they're in the 350 and under range and we were seeing a lot of multiple offers. Agents getting back to me saying, please produce your highest and best offer, which kind of sucks, especially um, when the houses had been sitting on the market for over 60 days, 90 days, and then all of a sudden they're getting multiple offers. I don't know what's causing the surge as to why people want to buy, but I've also been busy this month. I already have a closing January and I have another closing in February and I probably will have two or three closings in February and that's how busy I am. For some reason, I think I read an article or saw an article by realtor.com that January is the new April. I believe it. I believe that January could be the new April, especially now with income tax returns coming, uh, people doing their taxes and the holiday season's finally over. People are now ready to commit to buying. So again, these numbers, I'm gonna go over the rest of these numbers, um, but I've been saying this, I don't see a recession happening for 2020. I've had lots of clients for the past three and a half years wait for 2020 because they felt that the home prices will decrease. I don't think it's gonna happen, especially with the low inventory that we have and so many buyers out there right now. 
I think the prices are gonna to continue to rise for 2020. Again, as I said, I could be absolutely wrong and my predictions could be just nothing. And I said last month also that we could just have a year just like 2019, which I'm fine with that because then the appreciation was not much overall year to year. There's about a 2.1 months of housing supply on the market, which is down 21.8% from November and down 31.3% from the prior year. It is still favoring a seller's market right now. Um, when it becomes a buyer's market is when there's about six plus months of inventory available. With only 2.1 months of inventory, that means that it's still in the hands of the sellers. But doesn't mean really you can't get a deal uh, just because it's a seller's market. There's still a lot of homes out there that have been on the market for some time, even some ones that are moving ready. So you still may be able to get a, a great deal. I actually just went under contract with one client where we were able to negotiate down a price by 2000 and then also had the seller still pay 4,500 in her closing costs. So the key is to having a real estate agent that knows how to negotiate accordingly. And about 48.7% of the closings for the month of December closed in 30 days or less. In November, this number was 51.4%, and in December 2018, it was 55.3% of the homes were on the market for 30 days or less. 50% is not bad. I remember in 2018, it was hovering around this 60 to 70%, um, but at least 50% of the homes are selling within the first 30 days. The key to selling your home is a lot of strategy and I've done videos on that. Um, I'll post a link above about uh, how to sell your home or stage your home. I can't remember exactly what it was called, but it's important to know, one, price it accordingly, and two, have it moving ready. Overall for 2019, there was a total of 41,269 single family homes that sold, uh, which is not bad. It's only about 4% down compared to 2018. In my opinion, that's pretty good since 2018 was in the peak of, of the years. I mean, that was when it hit the peak, absolute peak, <laughs> crazy. So a 4% difference between 2018 and 2019 is actually really good considering how we had a very slow start for 2019 with the rise in inventory and not enough demand out there. But if you would like to download the full report provided by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors, I provided a link down in the description below. Also, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. I hope you've enjoyed my monthly market update for January 2020. By the way, I forgot to mention, Happy New Year, everyone. I'm Angela O'Hare, a local Las Vegas realtor and I'm here to answer all your real estate questions. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about this awesome Las Vegas Valley. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you guys on the next one.